this times of guns and knives. I travel in this world with nothing in my hands. If anyone comes to molest, an evil begins to dominate. God is my only shield. Faith is my guide. Honor is my wealth. Truth is my fortune. And Yao Yan is my weapon. My name is Master Benigno Iken Kaniga Jr. I am the founder of the Yoyan Ardigma Martial Arts Federation Incorporated. I was a member of the Philippine team. I was uh, teaching for 25 years. We are promoting here the sports of Yoyan Martial Arts. Arnes Pandigma is Arnes. R is Arnes. Digma is Pandigma. It's instead, by using of stick, it's the using of your forearm and your leg as your weapon. Yaoyan or Digma is uh, more practical than other martial arts. Yaoyan is no kata movements, no synchronized kicks. The Yaoyan is more practical by, by using of punches, elbow, knee strike, kicks, palo, back piece. Flying knee, the Yao Yan, we can fight within close range and long range. As a father of the Yao Yan Ardigma, not only to teach the martial arts, number one is the discipline. And then, more values about the Yao Yan. Wako mag teach nga to go on sa street, you go to fight. Ao impasay sa ilang to learn the martial arts, then the discipline, and the sports. For me, Yao Yan Ardigma is not just a martial arts, it's not just a discipline, but it's a way of life, it's a way of living. Yao Yan Ardigma helps me cope up with any stress in life and also deal with all the challenges in life. Again, I'm very proud of you, Yao Yan. You're very proud of your work, you're very proud of your work, you're very proud of your work. I'm very proud of Master Rikin, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Ang chicks, ano ang ginawa namin tayo kasi namtay kasing kasing. Natural lang yun ang inlab ta. Bawal ang chicks pero konti lang. Hindi tayong feelings nga first fight na dao dyan. Dili lang makakatun ka sa martial arts kung dili sa disiplina. Kay kami dary gutanan gud. Kay usagin mi katim dili lang la muli ka sa nyong ha kundi li muari ka dili sa gym usaka ka anak anak kani Master Ken itrit sa ganyang anak dili lang ka fighter kundi li anak juga niya. I work as a call center representative, so that's in a graveyard shift. So after my work in the mornings, I come here practice. How do you balance that? Well, um, I don't know, because I just love this, so after I work, even though it's tiring and I'm so sleepy, I come here, I practice with my friends, so I find it very um, refreshing for me. Yeah, we have a discipline, especially when we have a discipline, it helps me a lot in my work as a police officer. I need to cope with criminals. The purpose of Yawyan is discipline and teaching and more on the discipline of everything. Do you use Yawyan in Gawas? No. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it in the streets. So I'm careful any time when I'm in the streets. I'm going to stay in the distance. If I'm in the streets, I'm going to stay in the streets. Away from avoid lang ko sa disgrasya. I was a Yaoyan practitioner when I was 13 years old. I started it in 2003. Seeing all these um, young fighters doing what they're doing, and then it's really impressive. I'm very inspired, and I'm actually considering, you know, um, training again. 
A new Yaoyan member is about to become a part of the Yaoyan family. In Yaoyan, a tradition which is called branding, or sealing of the Yaoyan emblem is necessary to prove the commitment to the martial art and to the brotherhood. The person then undergo a series of hazing by his seniors. But after all that, he is welcomed by his fellow practitioners and then now becomes a true Yaoyan member. That's a traditional Yaoyan ceiling or uh, tatak. Uh, Ang yawyan na siya ay gitawag na baptismal rites. This is called the baptismal rites. Tatakan siya sa dughan. Ang sa dughan, mauna siya ang sa mga junior. And then, ang sa shoulder, ang mga senior. So, they are except as, uh, as a yawyan, a member of yawyan. And then, uh, siya na po, sa sunod, siya na po ang mo, uh, like, mo baptize sa another new member. They come here for different reasons. Some to stay fit, some to relieve stress or learn self-defense, and some to start a new life. Regardless of their motivations, what they learn here far exceeds their expectations. They had anticipated learning how to kick, how to box, how to defend themselves. What they had now foreseen was love, discipline, respect, camaraderie, commitment, and brotherhood, all from inside this humble gym. At the end of the day, it's not only about how hard they can punch, how high they can kick, or how fast they can move. What matters most are the values they've learned, the friends they have made, and the brotherhood they have created. All this is due to one person who they call master, who not only serves as their teacher, but also as their mentor and father. Fighters, disciples of this art, anticipate their return to the gym each day after the next, not only to learn one of the deadliest martial arts, but also to experience training and solidarity with those they consider family. <laughs>